guys, it's another Dollar Tree haul video. Now I know a couple of weeks went by, and you guys know I didn't forget you. For those of you that follow me for my Dollar Tree haul videos, I could never let a go month go by without going to Dollar Tree. So this was not really my biggest Dollar Tree. Like I said in all my Dollar Tree videos, I usually will buy things I actually use. Um, I'm not just buying things just to make a video. These are items I actually need. And that's why I don't really have that much. Uh, before, I was really shopping a lot at Dollar Tree. And, you know, I kind of... This was a different Dollar Tree. Now I only buy... I did it before. I only buy the items I need. So as each month goes by, you'll see my dollars will get less and less because I have so many items to begin with. So, we're going to jump right into it. The first item I got, I'll show it to you guys, is, now this is a pops, an ice pop maker. So, this is really good for hot summer months. I'll give you guys a better view. This is really good for hot summer months. So, if you're someone like me who's watching what you eat and you don't want to have a lot of sugar, instead of buying store-bought, like, popsicles, you can actually make your own. So, you could get, like, lemonade that are maybe five calories with no sugar. You could put them in here and freeze it overnight, and then you could just you know, suck on it throughout the day or um, whatever you want a popsicle stick. So I got those because, um, you know, especially as it gets really hot, sometimes you crave something sweet and something cold. Instead of getting a coffee colada or going to McDonald's, get a sweet tea, just make a healthier popsicle. The next one I got, and I'll have to, when I make my first meal out of this, I'll definitely do a review. Um, I got this griddle pan at the dollar store. You guys can see it. This is what it looks like. So it's called Cooking Concepts. So I'm going to make like grilled zucchini, grilled onions, uh, carrots, or, you know, just because in the summertime, it gets really hot. You know, you want to stay away from soups and stuff. You want like summer food, like light stuff, easy stuff to cook. So I will not cook meat on this only because when I cook my meat, I like it to be well done. And something like this, I'm not going to leave it under my gas stove too long. So it'll probably mainly just be for vegetables that could easily be cooked. I know zucchini is already something that you could eat it raw or cook. Um, carrots, the same thing. All my vegetables, you could eat them either way. So whether or not it cooks all the way, it's still safe to eat. But with my meat, you want to be careful with meats because you don't want to get sick if it's not cooked all the way. Put that aside. Next item I picked up is Scrub Buddies. These are the reusable um, heavy-duty texture plum gloves. So I bought these, you know, clean my dishes. I always switch out my gloves like every other like month or so. So I picked these up and I picked the size large. They have different size. They have small, medium, and large. They do not have extra large. I don't know if it's just that Dollar Tree store, but I didn't see extra large. In case you guys have big hands like I do. <laughs> um, next one I picked up again it's from the same family it is the scrub buddies and now these are uh, two side scrubbing and wiping power um, you know sponges these are really good for your pants um, if you know if you have some like oil or some heavy duty grease in here you could definitely use these to scrub that way you don't mess up here. See how I have no nails? Well, yeah, you get the picture, right? <laughs> Next one again, uh, still from the same family, Scrub Buddies. These are the standard steel sorcerers. These are really good for your big, big pots. So do you, how you, you know how sometimes if you make like a sauce or you make soup or um, maybe you might have boiled your, your chicken or pork, it sometimes will have that really like if you made like oh a really good one alfredo cheese you know how sometimes the milk and the cheese will burn in the pan well this is really good to take it out and how i do it and i'll show you guys a secret to use this very good effectively so if you're one of those people who like any type of food you cook there's usually like a tar left under the pan boil it with um, water and soap let it boil for maybe like two minutes or so 
when the water is nice and hot, tip all the tar, all the sauce will come out of the pan. When that's done, take a little bit of soap and use this. Because you don't want to use it too hard because it is a dollar store brand. I'm telling you, it will clean your pan out clearly. Let me know if you tried it in the bottom. Um, next one, I, I always pick these up, guys, and I, I have a problem. I pick up a lot of these plastic container bowls. I don't know if I'm just obsessed with them for some reason. I'll keep buying them, and what will happen is I'll use it maybe once or twice, and then I end up losing the top lid, right? And then I can't find it. Um, let's see if I can show you guys. Ugh. Like, excuse me for my mess in here, but... <laughs> I have a lot of bowls. See, guys, all these bowls I have, and I could never find the covers. It's, it's an obsession, but maybe if I organize my cabinet a little, maybe it'll be easier to find. That's another DIY project we'll probably have to work on. Um, let's see. Next one I picked up. This is Short Fresh Container Lid. I am going to use this for, and I'll show you guys. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, it's too far back, but I am going to use this to put my almonds in them, and this is really good if you have like Greek, I'm going to get Greek yogurt like in the morning, um, and I'm going to take this to work with me, because where I work, I'm lucky enough I can bring like whole size food, and we have cabinets and stuff, so I could definitely leave this in my, at my cabinet at work, because if I'm at home, I probably wouldn't have yogurt, but if I'm at work, I want a quick snack or I didn't have time for breakfast. I know I could just grab this, put some granola bars in it. That way I keep healthy and, you know, I keep my figure and I don't have to worry about eating the wrong things. Um, next item again, more bowls. I got these ones for fruit bowls. Um, I Honestly, they say you really shouldn't have, you know, fruit's good, but you don't want to have too much fruit because of the sugar. So I don't think my, my fruit should not come all the way to the top. I think it'd be halfway would be enough good fruit salad. So that's something I could work on the weekend. Like, you know, you get like grapes and strawberries, watermelon. Uh, I A couple of week, months ago, I did buy a green one. So now I got a pink one. This is going to be when I'm going to the gym. Just water and ice. No lemon, nothing. Just water and ice just to wake my system up as I do my 60 minute workout. Next item I got... Again, I got more of the fruit bowl. See, guys, I got two of these. Like I said, I'm so obsessed with them. I am doing another garage sale. So now this time it's going to be at um, my friend's house. So I got some signs. I got these two signs here. And I don't know if I'll make... I'll just probably take pictures. And I'll show you guys. I don't know if I'm going to actually do a vlog. It's kind of hard to do a vlog when you do a, like a, a yard sale because I don't want people to get freaked out, you know, think I'm filming them without their permission. So you got to be careful, stuff like that. I mean, I might just take a few pictures and, you know, share. If my yard, yard sale is successful, maybe I'll just say how to do a successful yard sale. I don't know. I'll figure it out as it go. But anyway, th these are the items that I bought. I spent like $13.81. Didn't spend that much. I always feel, why spend more when you get it cheap, right? Um, and I really like, if you're someone who wants to do a garage sale, a yard sale, these sides are really good. I don't, let's see, I think it's just called, it's called garage sale. So they show you in the back how to uh, do it. Like how to list it, so you would put your street sign, the date, and the time. And what I like about this, you don't have to draw the arrow. You could just color the arrow in, right? So wherever your house is coloring. I got hot pink and I got hot green. These are colors that are going to catch people's attention as they're driving by. Um, a little hint, if you plan on doing a yard sale or a garage sale, or whatever sale you call it, you could try to put your site up maybe a day before your yard sale. I mean, I see people do it like a, like nobody ever does it more than two or three days prior. Because if you do it like weeks in advance, people are going to forget. They're not going to remember. But as they're driving home, if they stay on Friday afternoon, Oh, I saw the sign. It's supposed to have your so static. Then they'll show up. So that is it, guys. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know what you think about the video. Um, and I will definitely do other follow-up video to let you know how my griddle pan is 
And I know, guys, this is the first time that I've been doing this. Well, is this like my fourth or third video for Dollar Tree? I don't remember. That I don't have any socks. It's really hot. So we're not going to get socks in the month of June, right? Um, and I didn't get my little uh, loofahs that I usually get. I didn't get that because this was a completely different Dollar Tree store. So... And, you know, I'm a creature of habit. I get used to certain things, used to certain stores. Um, so, let's see. My favorite item, I would have to say, for this video was the Ice Pop, uh, Pop Makers. And this was torn. I still bought it. That's how bad. I wish they had more. Um, I am planning on having a cookout with family members. So, if I could have found, like, maybe four or five, I could have done some popsicles for the younger kids. Uh, but, yeah, that is basically it. That's my favorite item, guys. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, and for those of you who are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. This channel is a variety of different things. I don't even know what this channel is about, to be honest. I just shoot up a video as I go. So... I don't have any structure, like I said before. I know I posted Monday and Fridays, but that doesn't happen. But I'll never let at least two weeks go by without shooting a video. So I think that is my plan. And my YouTube channel is about everything. Um, Dollar Tree vlogs, weight loss, um, eBay, because I'm set up for eBay sales, books, Amazon, everything. PCOS, um, IVF treatment. Every single thing. So, you know, as I get more people and, um, and as I get more people, if you subscribe to my channel, let me know what kind of videos you want to see more of. That way I get a feel because if I'm getting more subscribers for, uh, maybe like my haul videos or if I buy like a coach bag or um, you know if it's more of an eBay stuff that I really want to focus more on those topics because that seems to be grabbing people's attention instead of you know just making a bunch of videos and then you know, it may not look like it, but a lot of work and effort is put into every single video that I make. I'm not really a good uh, video editor. You know, I have some background degree of, like, graphic design. So some of my, like, you know, clip arts and stuff like that, like my thumbnails, will be good. But other than that, to uh, edit videos, not my thing. I will learn as I go. Uh, but, yeah, but definitely let me know, guys. Okay, that is enough of my rant. <laughs> I'll tell you, sometimes I could go on forever, and I'm going to close it now, guys.